Hello, good morning. Today is Saturday. It's supposed to be kind of warm today, so I'm wearing a sleeveless top. Super cute from Anthropology. It's got like a little deer, an owl, um, another deer, owl, just some cool like animals on it. And it's very shimmery and loosey goosey. The only sucky thing is the straps on it. It kind of has like a racer back type of thing going on, so I prefer thicker straps but what are you gonna do it's a super cute print and I like it so <laughs> anyways yeah today's Saturday so I got back in town on Thursday from visiting my family for a few days um, seeing my sister and brother-in-law my mom my dad <laughs> the baby nieces Mackenzie and Liz and I wanted to thank you so much for your um, kind and supportive comments with my video. So I appreciate the, the nice comments about the girls as well as how I felt at the end um, when I was leaving on my sister's birthday. Cringe, not a good idea. Um, I was upset that I had made my sister upset by leaving on her birthday and by not being more considerate about that. Um, and then also because I don't see them very often because I still don't don't fly or travel much, so um, I was upset about that. Uh, right now, my sister and their family, they are uh, packing up. It's gonna start their drive back to Oregon. It's a two-day drive. They are heading back home, back to their home in Oregon. And um, yeah, so yesterday on Friday, I went to work. I um, had taken four days off, Monday through Thursday, so it was a very busy day at work. A lot of catching up to do with emails and interruptions with people coming by, so yeah, next week's going to be pretty busy at work as well. Um, it is spring break next week for the students at UCSB, so there won't be too many students around campus. That really doesn't impact me too much. My work doesn't really hinge too much on students at this point. I will be working with them a little bit more closely during the upcoming spring quarter, so when they return, I will be meeting with students and talking to them about some things. But other than that, I usually don't work very much with students. I just, um, yeah, just work with staff and collaborate with them and that's about it <laughs> so anyways um today i think i'm gonna hopefully go to the farmer's market downtown i was thinking it'd be neat to go there it's been a while maybe get some orange juice some ojai pixies these little like tangerine things um see who's got strawberries because i think strawberries are back in season right now and that'd be cool i've also thought it'd be neat to buy like a ton of lemons and strawberries and make strawberry lemonade, which I've never done before. Um, I also don't have a pitcher to put it into, but I could figure that out. <laughs> anyway, so a couple things downtown. And then last night I was looking at menus of different restaurants and this one place called Scarlet Begonia looked really good. They have this dish called shrimp and grits. And I'm not really sure what grits are. I think it's like corn or rice or something but that looked good and then they also have these lemon ricotta pancakes these ginormous cinnamon rolls so I was thinking oh that'd be cool to go pick up some lunch or brunch to go after the farmer's market but we'll see I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that and um, I also don't know if I'm gonna pick up Andy and take him to the farmer's market or if we'll just meet there not really sure about how it's all gonna play out but um, those are my tentative plans for today Hey, I just parked outside of Andy's apartment and um, I thought I'd show some of the cute little cottages next to him. There's some people doing work though, it's kind of loud. <laughs> but I think these are pretty cute. I think these cottages are pretty expensive. I don't know how much they sold for. I have no idea. There's my car. There's a mix of apartments here. Some apartments and some homes, but the homes downtown are so cute and very expensive too. I'm sure they're like 800,000 to a million dollars, like these cute little cottages and stuff. So we just um, are looking around at cute apartments nearby Andy and this apartment, it stood out to me because it has a really nice arch here with tile work. Um, the address is also in tiles at the bottom of the stairs. So this stood out. And then all the uh, wood stuff covering the top windows is kind of unusual. You don't see that very much. Um, the doors look nice, like real wood. And then when we walked in, we saw this cute little um, <laughs> fountain 
with a rubber ducky, which is hilarious. Someone put a little duck in their fountain. And then you can also see this from the street too. You can see the nice tile on their stairs leading up to the second floor. This is definitely different than my apartment. There's so much character to this. It's really neat. So we're heading to the farmer's market right now. We just parked, we drove here together. And I need to get some tokens and maybe a free bag because I have that access deal for a free bag. And then, it smells like cigarettes. And then we're gonna get orange juice, pixie tangerines, maybe some strawberries if we can find some good ones. Um, yeah, we'll be looking for some different stuff here. It's, this is the busy downtown farmer's market. And I think we can get tokens to the right, honey. All right. Yeah. Kind of a little I like his hat. Got a spinny hat on. Yeah. <laughs> Got a villain, farms. Oh, this is the roots. They're always very busy. I don't see any strawberries from them, so I'm curious. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can get the tokens here. And then, oh, those are the nice bags they have for sale. And then the free bag is not that. It's something different. Oh. We just got our tokens, and now we're gonna look at the different stands. We've got the pistachio people here. Some blueberries. Ooh, more strawberries, but we just talked to a girl and got recommendations on who has good strawberries. The papayas are back. Golden State papayas. Yeah. Some honey. Maybe we'll get you some honey sticks in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> More strawberries are showing up. Everywhere. Some, good. Yeah, apples. They sometimes have cider too. And then, who's usually up here? There's like an oyster guy. Like a Hope Ranch oyster dude. Yeah. But I don't see the oyster dude. The hummus people. Jimenez Family Farm, they have that good bacon. <laughs> really good bacon. Hmm. We actually didn't go to the orange people. We'll have to go there next. Or after this lane if you want. Some flowers. Pretty flowers. Yep. Some pies. Raw milk. My sister would like that. I think she does the raw milk and stuff. Yeah. Some avocados. I like when they separate the avocados so you know when they're ready. Like the oh, next couple yeah. days or what's ripe. I know so that. That's cool. They help you sort it out so you don't have to wonder, oh my god, there's a dog in that thing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh That's my god. Adorable. Fluffy. <laughs> fluffy dog. Oh, they've got some citrus, some cat, wheatgrass for cats. <laughs> So we just bought some strawberries from John Givens Farm. It was three baskets for $13, and they're all organic, they're pretty good, very sweet. And now we're gonna go to the Ojai Ranches and get some stuff here. So they've got the orange juice that I like. I think I'll just get the regular orange juice, not the blood orange juice today. They've got lemons, they've got the pixie tangerines. Some samples out here, blood oranges, mercot tangerines. I actually really like mercot tangerines too. Yeah. So I think we just need to decide between the mercot or the pixie, which ones we want to do. Yeah. 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 Do you want to try them? We can decide between which type we want to get. I'm fine. Oh, you don't want to try any. This would be perfect, I think, for selfies. So Andy and I are um, at the public market, which is beautiful, and I swear that I've seen people take pictures here. I think because the um, staircases are so pretty, and they have so much tile work, and nice stuff like that, people totally come here for pictures. We're gonna go check out Scarlet Begonia and see if we wanna get any food to go from there. That's a place that has the shrimp and grits. It has the lemon ricotta pancakes, the big old cinnamon rolls. <laughs> it's kind of hidden though, um, and a lot of people tend to eat outside in a courtyard, but it's, it's like in the middle of some building. So I'll, I'll show you. So we've got Olio y Limon, that nice Italian place. Bouchon is over there, that's that fancy French place. In the middle there, you don't know it, but there's some restaurants. <laughs> so now we're going into the courtyard. 
the Victoria Court and Oleo Limon. And they've got actually a pizzeria here as well, Oleo. Um, maybe this is the pizzeria. You can eat outside. And um, that was full. it is actually has water. You don't see a lot of full fountains in San Francisco. I know. These days. Well, the you know we're not in a water in a drought, anymore? drought anymore, so maybe that's why fountains are turned on yeah. for a change. Yeah. <laughs> then where do we go? Where the heck is it? I can't remember. I think it's down here, honey. I haven't been here too much. I've just been here once. Oh, here it is. It's around here, Sweet Pea. So this is the entrance to Scarlet Begonia. This is where people can sit and eat. There's Arigato, the really good sushi place on the side. So let's go check out the menu and see what we think. We've got drinks. And we're checking out the weekend brunch menu, which is different from what was posted online. And they've got granola, quinoa oatmeal, lemon ricotta pancakes, brioche French toast with peanut butter mascarpone, bananas, bacon, homemade syrup, eggs, scrambles, croquet, madame, shrimp and grits, salmon, cheeseburgers, you can get the sides, the sides of bacon, pastries, toast, kids menu. That's the cinnamon roll that's supposed to be really good. A biscuit sampler, you get two, two biscuits there. One's maple bacon and one's buttermilk with some jam. Ricotta toast with strawberries, market blueberry honey and mint. Pretzel, oh, dirty fries. I've heard good I things. Want dirty fries. Yeah. Spicy aioli, bacon, herbs, lemon. I want that. I heard it's good actually with an egg too. Yeah. Yeah, so this looks really good. Are you still interested in the lemon ricotta pancakes too? <laughs> the brioche French toast sounds good too because it has really peanut butter mascarpone. Has anybody helped you guys out? Yeah, we're just looking. Okay, this. cool. And the shrimp and grits. I just want to try because everyone talks about the shrimp and grits. It's like the thing yeah. you have to have. Yeah. So you could eat on the inside here, but I think most people tend to eat on the outside. Check out this cool stereo set. And what do you. Oh, thank you. What do you. Oh, awesome. What do you call those thank types so of discs? Vinyl. Vinyl. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Vinyl and then this player thing and that it makes it feel like I'm at grandpa's house or something <laughs> You know I used to have one of those right? You, this thing? Yeah, and I used to have Way more like yeah, I used oh to have a lot gosh. of these I sold That's so neat. Yeah. I like the wall. Well, I kind of think wallpaper is fun. It can be fun sometimes <laughs> So we've got our lunch. You want to go home? All right, so Andy and I just got back to his apartment and we are going to have a massive feast on yummy foods. These are his lemon ricotta pancakes and they come with, I believe, butter, jam, and this. That I don't, be for the fries. I think it might be for the fries too, honey. Yeah, or something else. So he's got his yummy pancakes, three pancakes here. I've got the shrimp and grits. Um, it also comes with, I think, eggs. I want to say that's an egg, that's an egg grits, whatever that is, all kinds of stuff in there. It smells good. Andy admitted it smells good and he doesn't even like seafood. <laughs> you said it smells good. Um, these are the dirty fries. Yeah, that sauce must go with the fries. And then we opted to add an egg to it because they said it's way better when you add fries, or excuse me, add an egg to it. And this is the massive cinnamon roll that's really big. And for and scale. <laughs> and you have a big hand. Well, I have a big hand for a female too, actually. So <laughs> we could have a little baby hand for scale. <laughs> Anyways, this is pretty big. And when you get it in s there in the restaurant, they serve it with a big knife in the middle because no one's going oh, right. to just jam it in their mouth. So anyways, this is our super yummy lunch for today. Thank you, Andy. You're welcome. Hello, I'm back home now. I'm back for my fun outing with Andy. I had a good time with him. I did start to get nervous when I picked him up at his apartment um, and I told him I'm feeling kind of nervous. So he said, okay, let's go for a walk around the neighborhood. And that's when we went and looked at different apartments in the area. And just looking at like the decoration and architecture of them. And it helped. Um, I think I actually received a comment from someone uh, who said to me, hey, you know, it, it might be good for you to um, show that anxiety and just be vulnerable around Andy and then you'll see, you know, that he's comforting and uh, something along those lines, which is definitely what I did today. I know it could have been easier to just meet him at the farmer's market and drive our own car separately, but I wanted to do it together and, um, you know, we're both kind of still working together and figuring out the best way to go about things. And when I'm nervous um, while driving, I typically shut down and I'm quiet and I don't talk. 
And so he's kind of thinking, oh, what should I do? Should I talk? Should I be quiet? So he'll ask me, what, what is best? What's helpful? And I said, you can talk, but I'm not, I'm not able to focus very much because I'm so caught up in my head when I'm nervous. So um, we're figuring out things and, you know, sometimes if I do get nervous, we can pull off and go for a walk and that helps me to get out of the car. Um, so we're figuring things out together, which is great, and I feel very, very safe and comfortable, and I think I've mentioned before that I feel I have this unconditional love from him. Um, so he's a very safe person to be nervous around. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to quickly show you what I got at the farmer's market. I didn't get too much, but geez louise, you can blow through money so fast there. I took out $30, and I spent $28. <laughs> um... So this is what I got. I got this um, orange juice from the Ojai Friends Ranch. This was $10. I got these Mercot tangerines, which were $5 uh, for this bag. And they have samples there. So you can try the Ojai Pixies, which are very popular. A lot of people love them, but I just like the Mercot tangerines more. I think they're better. They're juicy. They're they're sweet to me these are where it's at and then we went to john Givens farms which is this um, local guy i believe his farm is in goleta and he's all organic he's been around for a long time and we got a three pack of strawberries he only had three of these packs left around 11 o'clock so he sold out super fast and <laughs> that's all he had left so we did try one while there and it was very sweet super yummy so andy and i are going to split this up so that's all we got at the farmer's market today um, I do like to get some other things there sometimes like figs and there's this really good bacon by Jimenez Family Farms but they always run out and when the peaches come around I'm gonna buy a ton of white peaches from Riger Family Farms <laughs> I just wanted to show you what the packaging looks like for this map chocolate order um, it's very cute and very sweet. The woman who does it, her name is Mackenzie Rivers. She's up in Oregon. I like her name because her name is Mackenzie, same name as my niece. <laughs> um, she includes the order details um, in an envelope along with this cute little sticker, Map Chocolate Slow Batch Crafted, with what looks like um, a slug or a... Oh, it has little hearts on it with a cacao, cocoa pod on it, which is cute. And then that little card the box clearly says map chocolate and then she has all these little crinkly things <laughs> these crinkly crinkly things and then she packages up the bars of chocolate really kind of cute too um yeah i believe she's just a, a one woman operation i am going to have to clean this stuff up omg i try to keep things clean here all right <laughs> Anyway, so then the chocolate's in a nice little tissue paper uh, wrapped with some tape and a little M logo. M is for Map or for Mackenzie because that's both her name. And then inside here, I've got this one I've been really wanting to try for a long time called Love Shack. It has sugared lemon and pink shortbread in it. Oh, this one I've been waiting on. I'm excited to try this. I've heard wonderful things about Love Shack flavor. And I've got, oh goodness gracious, a, a number of other flavors here. Starry Night. Um, this one has fur tip sugar and Icelandic sea salt. Meteor Shower. This one has toasted black sesame and lava salt. It's a 65%. They all list the percentage and the origin as well. Um, the Piece of Wild Things, Three Origin Blend, 71%. That might be good. I tend to like blends. I Dream of Fiji, a Fiji Micro Batch, 78%. Um, yeah, the packaging is so cute on these. And Love Shack is the one where I'm like, okay, I'm going to try you. The lemon sugared lemon and pink shortbread it's gonna have some cool stuff on it so i think that's considered like an inclusion bar because it has all kinds of neat stuff so there we go super cute packaging and some um, nice chocolate bars i'm actually gonna give some of these chocolate bars to my friend um as a thank you for watching my kitty witties so <laughs> hopefully uh, this video won't be up until after she receives it because um i don't want to post any spoilers and ruin the surprise for her. My next door neighbor uh, left his cat out for a couple hours. <laughs> his cat's been outside meowing uh, for a few hours, so I'm gonna go give him some treats. Yeah. 
It's not nice to leave your cat outside for so long. Meowing. The boys like to come say hello to him through the screen door. Stitch especially likes to say hi to him. Sunny. There's Stitch and Fig. And there's Buddy. They're all friends. I know you're all friends. Stitch really likes Buddy. Fig keeps his distance usually. I know. If I give Buddy treats, I'll have to give Stitch and Fig treats too. Right, Rose? Hang on. Come on, Buddy. Here's a couple little treats for you, huh? Come on, Buddy. There you go. Try them. You'll like them. you like the treats, huh? They're good. They're dried chicken. Yeah, you'll like them, huh, Buddy? Those are yummy. I'm sorry, your owner left you outside for a few hours. There's somewhere right there, huh? There you go. Go eat up. Hmm, you like them? There's the boys watching inside. When do I get treats? When do we get some treats, huh? <laughs> There's another one for you, buddy. What do you have to say, Fig? What do you have to say? You've got the tiniest little, tiniest little meows. You have baby meows, Fig. Come on. I think he wants some dry food. You must want some dry food, huh? <laughs> All right, well, um, it's Saturday evening now and um, and he came over, we watched some Teen Mom. Um, it was Teen Mom 2, the season finale, slash, you know, when they do the little reunion show. So we love that kind of stuff. And he's really into it too, so that's cool. I saved the show on the DVR until we can watch it together on the weekend. Oh, hey, Stitch. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I think I'm going to wrap up today's vlog. It was a lot of fun. Personally, I loved going and spending time with Andy, doing stuff downtown, out and about, and then also at home. So it was like a perfect mix type of day where it's like doing different things. Um, yeah, so that's about it. And um, thank you for watching, and I hope that you're having a good weekend. Bye-bye.